Echo the Message, November 28th, in Heavenly Places. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is athirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Revelation chapter 22 verse 17. A short time before his ascension to his heavenly throne Christ commissioned his disciples to go into all the world as teachers of righteousness. Among the believers to whom the commission was given, were many from the humbler walks of life, men and women who had learned to love their Lord and who had determined to follow his example of self-denying service. To these lowly ones of but limited talent, as well as to the disciples who had been with the Savior during the years of his earthly ministry, was the commission given to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mark chapter 16 verse 15 to the members of the early Christian church was given a sacred trust. They were to be executors of the will in which Christ had bequeathed to the world the treasure of life eternal. In the trust given to the first disciples believers in every age have shared. God desires that every believer shall be an executor of the Savior's will. The unselfish labor of God's people in ages past is to his servants today an object lesson and an inspiration. Today God's chosen people are to be zealous of good works, separating from all worldly ambition and walking humbly in the footsteps of the lowly Nazarene. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come. This commission to bid others come, embraces the entire church, and applies to everyone who has accepted Christ as his personal Savior. Every soul who has heard the divine invitation is to echo the message, saying to those with whom he comes in contact, Come. From the moment of conversion those who receive Christ are to become the light of the world. The Holy Spirit, Christ's representative, arms the weakest with might to press forward to victory. The work that some are able to do may appear to be restricted by circumstances, but wherever it is, if performed with faith and diligence, it will be felt to the uttermost parts of the earth. The Review and Herald, March 24, 1910. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of eternal life and the call to share it with others. Help us to echo the invitation to come to all we meet reflecting your love and grace in our lives. May we walk humbly in your footsteps, inspired by the example of those who have gone before us. Empower us through your Spirit to fulfill our commission with zeal and dedication, no matter our circumstances. Let our words and actions draw others to you, that they may also drink freely from the water of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.